One of the very first things we learned was how we leave tracks of our thinking behind when we read. We call this annotating, and the track left behind is an annotation. So in the classroom, we played around with using thinking stems or blank post-it notes. But the goal really was to leave thinking tracks that have substance. And that's where we got into the idea of metacognition. It's that idea of text and thinking for meaning. It's real reading. We first did this with a reading salad as we looked closely at little parts of the text and then we focused on what those smaller parts of text had us thinking because that's real reading. It's more than just reading through words on a page quickly. And so this is where we started to do our very first metacognition. Now we want substance more than just a why. We want maybe why we're thinking what we're thinking and because. And so when you think about a, a quality annotation, you want to work towards being more accomplished to exemplary, making those connections that are higher level thinking. And so to do the metacognition station remotely, you would need to use Seesaw to capture your annotations. You can do metacognition with absolutely any text, whether it be a fun fiction text that you're enjoying or a nonfiction text. You can do it with poetry, anything that you read. So for metacognition, I invite you to enjoy this with any text and five quality pieces of thinking will earn special metacognition station badges.